Joining us now is Democratic Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester of Delaware. She is now running for the United States Senate in Delaware in 2024. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Uh, you made the decision and announced it today. Uh, have you heard from Senator Carper yet? Well, first of all, Lawrence, thank you for having me back on this exciting day. Um, I have been fortunate to hear from Senator Carper. Uh, he put out an incredible statement. And it's really hard for me to believe. I was trying to do the math. My daughter is 35, though, and I had the son on the hip who's 37, and my daughter was in my belly at the time that I did that inter internship. And it's just hard to believe uh, that it's been this many years. But that internship— that experience, along with serving in his cabinet and, and being his colleague, has propelled me to this place uh, uh, today. And so I am just excited that we announced our candidacy for United States Senate. And uh, it's just been an incredible day. Uh, you know, Delaware, as uh, small as it is, uh, gets some very important attention in Washington these days. Uh, Ron Klain, uh, President Biden's first White House chief of staff, uh, tweeted, it was my great honor to get to know uh, Lisa Rochester when I served as White House chief of staff because the president was always interested in her views on key issues. She will bring huge talent and determination to the Senate. Uh, it sounds like you have uh, friends in high places. Well, you know, I have to say um, it has truly been an honor. And, you know, I think part of it is how we operate in Delaware, where we try to get multiple sides. Um, as you may know, I am in our progressive caucus. I'm in the New Dems. I'm in the Women's Caucus. I'm in the Congressional Black Caucus and was an assistant whip. And so I tried to keep my finger on the pulse, but especially on the pulse of Delaware. And so um, it's been great to work with the administration as well as Ron and the president uh, as well. What are you hoping to accomplish uh, in the Senate? You know, I, I have to tell you, you know, listening to Delawareans, I start with the things that we've been working on for the past six years, and that's everything from jobs and the economy, that focus, and our supply chains, to lowering the cost of prescription drugs for our seniors, um, to our work on the environment and health care. And so I hope to continue to do that work. But in the Senate, I feel it's an opportunity to go deeper and for us to really have, hopefully, a greater impact, particularly as it pertains to our democracy, uh, the ability to work on voting rights. Uh, secondly, um, our reproductive freedom. You know, the, the Senate is where we confirm those Supreme Court justices and judges, and we know that they make a difference in what kind of freedoms that we have as a country. And so uh, I hope to be able to serve Delaware and serve more. And I want to put in a little plug for anybody interested in getting involved or finding out more, which is at lisabluntrochester.com. Uh, the, uh, the Delaware has a history of uh, electing Republican senators, electing Democratic senators. It's not a lock for Democrats historically. Uh, is there something that, that you think you must now do in, in this campaign in order to hold on to that seat for Democrats? Well, you know, again, I want to keep doing what I've been doing. You know, we've been able to work on uh, things that affect all Delawareans. I was the first person in our state to get on the Ag Committee in 120 years. And so we have farmers in the southern part of our state. I've been able to focus on environmental justice issues. And, and we have places because we're the lowest mean elevation in the country. And so for me, I want to keep doing what we've been doing because our focus and my focus has always been about bringing people together, which is why the theme of our campaign is Bright Hope. We want people to have a bright hope for our future. And so that's really the theme. And that's what I, I, I'll continue to do.